Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cameron House Marina. My name's Ruben Mercer, I'm a sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. Delighted today to present to you a Sea Line S23. This one is powered by a CAD 32, 170 horsepower turbo diesel. And as you would expect from Sea Line, the finish is second to none. This one's been impeccably kept. She really is immaculate inside and out. She's only had fresh water use. And a big selling point for these sea lines is the fact that you can put it on a trailer and you can tow it anywhere due to its width and its length. So you have a real good functional spec list here. She's awaiting a new owner, could be you. Let's take a little look at our features then. So at the rear, you may see that there is no extended swim platform. So what sea line have done is they've done a drop down one and you can just see the latch there for it. A great idea, just gives you an extra few inches at the rear of your boat there if you do need to disembark from the stern or also if you just want to sit and dangle your feet into the water. Transom shower, you can see just at the entrance. Now let's take a little look on board. Now that fabulous sea line quality begins right here. As you enter, with the little sea line logo embossed onto the glass door. Just another little touch that really adds to the decorum of the boat. But talking about decorum, this teak table is absolutely immaculate. Folds up and down, should you need to stow it away to maximize the space here, it just locks into place with this little bracket here. Now you do have seating for four around the table at a push, maybe five or six. The upholstery is in superb condition. And then underneath here, we do have the engine. Cockpit fridge doesn't come with the cans, I'm afraid. And now everything is, of course, under the protection of this very large and watertight canopy. This superstructure not only doubles as support for the canopy, but as grab rails will underway if one of you are standing. Double helm position, again the upholstery is in 100% perfect condition. As we sit at the helm, we have a non-glare dash, space for a map, and then we've got Raymarine tri data and a Raymarine chart plotter and GPS, not to mention the VHF underneath. You've also got your electric trim tabs as well. Great, let's take a little look at the accommodation downstairs. Three steps down, finished in teak and holly. Again, in impeccable condition, as are the carpets and the upholstery. Not to forget the joinery as well. Look at the shine off this table, considering this boat's nearly 17 years old. The galley, very well laid out. You've got 240 volt socket access there if you want to place a microwave here. You do have a stainless steel hot and cold sink. And then, You've got twin gas burners and also an oven. That's not an oven, that's a grill. Forgive me. Joinery, as I mentioned, perfect quality. Look at the glare there. The shine coming off the wood. So the table, there's seating for six around the table here. You can turn this into a double berth, a very large double berth as well, may I add. And also that section of backrest there flips up to really maximize the space you have if you are lying down here at night time. I'll show you what this looks like once you've converted it. Over six feet worth of length, four and a half feet worth of width. If you don't even want to, to sleep here and you want to sleep in, the midship berth, you can just use this as a lounging area. You do, of course, have a flat screen, a flat screen television with a side loading DVD player. And then your stereo control is also here as well. Now you've got curtains for everything. But there is lots of natural light pouring in here through the two side portholes and also the escape hatch that really just make it feel open and airy in here. As I've said, you would not believe that this is a 23 foot cruiser. You've got a great sized head, teak floor. Now that is a sea toilet. 
You also have a hot and cold shower and then plenty of storage in these racks here. Then we have the aft berth. Now that is full beam. You've got over six and a half feet worth of length, plenty of storage. This area here, also just behind me. And then it is recessed, so you do get an additional area of space if you want to sit up and read a book at night. Now there's plenty of light coming in through that escape hatch there. This is a great space for all the family. You can get two adults and two children here without an issue. Great. An exceptionally tidy cruiser. Perfect for a family. Perfect for couples who maybe take friends with them on their adventures. Comfortable accommodation for four. Exceptionally economical as well due to her CAD 32 turbo diesel engine. And as we're on the topic of engines, why don't we have a little look at the one that powers this? Just underneath the floor there. So this is powered by a Volvo Penta CAD 32 turbo diesel engine. So this gives off 170 horsepower. As you can see, the engine room is very, very clean and dry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. And you can have a little look at the table just folded up there if you do want to manage the space up here slightly differently. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland. We're fun in the water. Begins.